Oh my thing, no way. Yo, we just pulled an O up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out of this. In today's video, I'm going to be opening a Silver Tempest Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box and two Silver Tempest Booster Bundles. This will be my first time opening these booster bundles, but with the first video do, let's get it. Alright, guys, here we go. Here we, here we have two Silver Tempest Booster Bundles. This is the first time I'm opening these booster bundles. I managed to get them from Amazon. And I think this is the on only time that I've managed to get them in the UK from a legit retailer. Or not sold out. So here we go. I believe they did these with Lost Origin as well. They started these with Lost Origin. But I can't get my hands on any Lost Origin ones. So, And I don't want to pay like the market price for them. But here we are. My first experience with the Silver Tempest booster bundles. And we're going to be opening a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box as well. I'm going to start with, I'll say, the Elite Trainer Box. Yeah, I'll start with the Elite Trainer Box. Alright, so I've already done a video on the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. Link in the description down below. I did it with an unboxing of a Puma and Pokemon collab. So this is going to be a quick, like, overview. I'll just show you quickly what's in the contents of the box. But if you want to see a detailed view, Link in the de description down below. So 10 packs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, perfect. 10 packs. There's your V-Star marker, condition markers, your dice, and your damage counters. Oh, wow. This is different. They included two Volpix Jumbo Coins. You're only supposed to get one, but I guess again, I got an error. Error. Lugia Sleeves. Deck Dividers Brick of Energy There's your Code Card And your Alternate Art Volpix Sleeves But yeah, that's the contents of the Elite Trainer Box guys Alright, so the Booster Bundles I believe these are pretty much supposed to be like the Golden Battles Golden Battle Kits But instead of getting the deck You get two packs so you don't get a promo which in terms of which in terms of um price wise i think they're on the same price i prefer the stamp promo i don't know i mean if you're bu buying a building battle kit for a building battle kit for the promos then fair enough but if you just want packs i guess you could just buy the booster bundles i mean if you've got all of the stamp promos already then yeah it makes sense to buy these rather than the building battle stadiums or the building battle kits so yeah it works out if they're doing both of them at the same time and not like replacing one with the other way they might replace these with the building battle kits which i doubt they are because those are pre-release but if that's the case if you've already got all the stamp promos then yeah these are the if you only want six packs for 20 25 quid they're about 24 25 here yeah. but in the us i think they're like 20 24 as well dollars so yeah these are better than building battle kits if you've got the stamp promos already. Alright guys, so 22 packs all together, 10 from the Elite Trainer Box and 12 from the Booster Bundles. I'm gonna start with the Elite Trainer Box, let's see which one's gonna be better. This is gonna be kind of like a versus, like a battle between the two, but not so much a battle because... High five! That's great! They're two different products and I think they have two different ratios, probably, maybe. And plus you get two extra packs from the booster bundles i mean i've done it before where i've done like a battle where one had more than the other but eh, let's just make this a sort of a battle but not really a battle if you get my drift all right archon serena i mean elite trainer boxes usually are good to me so hopefully i can get at least a decent pull if not a decent pull but fair enough but usually when I do um, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes, it's the first box that I open that's good. And then anything after that, except because I always get two. I always get two Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes. One is good and the other one is meh sometimes. Earth and Silver Stone Hollow. So far it is looking meh. So far this Elite Trainer Box is looking meh. I think we're like almost halfway through it. Almost halfway through and we haven't gotten anything. Like a Trainer Gallery would be nice. That should be pretty much a given. You should get a V as well. Elite Trainer Boss should have at least one V. Guaranteed. 
Spindor, Vulpix. Yahoo! And we've got them again of these. Speaking of these, nice. That's a new V that I need as well. So at least we've got something new for the monster set and we're about halfway through the leech in the box. Halfway through the leech in the box. We have one here. A leech in the box should have like two or three. I think regularly. High five. We get two or three. Probably not gonna happen though. With a V so far. Pikachu. Mark a nine. Yep, only a V. Wow. See? First box. Always good. Second box. Disappointing. And I usually do. I just messed up. You okay, idiot! So we got Arkham on Hollywood, so this is nothing in it. Do we have a training gallery at least? Oh! Yahoo! Man, I'm a training gallery at least. I think I have that Malamoto already. I'm not too sure. So. In terms of master set, not really a good pull for me. Yeah, I usually do um, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Bosses versus regular retail ones. This time, because of the Pokemon and um, Puma collab, because of the Pokemon and Puma collab, I wanted to do a unboxing that trainer would have been like a two minute video at best. So for let me extend it by opening a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box. And then this time, in a sense, I'm doing a battle against the Booster Bundle since this is the first experience. Although it's not really a battle. But yeah, bloody hell mate, this is disappointing. Wow. I big up my Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes, but this is just letting me down big time now. Although when I do big it up, it's, like I said, it's always the first box that's, that does decent. Yahoo! We put a Radiant. I think in all of my openings, this is the only this is the only Radiant I pulled. I don't think I put any other Radiant. I believe. Last pack from ETB, and this is really, really disappointing so far. Not even a full art, not even a higher rarity trainer gallery. Damn, this is really disappointing. Alright, so done plan. Duo Duosion, I think that's called Duosion. That's the first time I've seen that one. Morgo, Meditan, Rhodes, Durant, Regulin, Benekin. Nice! Ooh. That's a good one. So, last pack magic redemption with a full up Magena. Nice! And we got a Magena V as well. Alright, guys, as we get probably about the halfway point of this video. If you're still here and if you're currently enjoying the video and you haven't already, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. And if you're already a current subscriber, I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. But without further scooby ado, let's get into the rest of the packs. Alright guys, now we're moving on to the booster bundles. This I don't know, do they do they make these out of booster boxes? Like take them out from booster boxes or just like seed them from like just single packs just make them like from a different batch or something if it's our booster boxes then you could be look looking at decent rates maybe I'm not too sure what's done film i feel like these are just like if you go into a store and just pick up six random packs from a booster box that's your hit ratio so again based on luck more or less you might get lucky, you might not. Some people might have some stat boxes with plenty of hits or good hits. In my case, so far, nothing. But yeah, yeah. like, you're just looking for, let's just say you want to spend 20, 25 quid, about that. Then 
I mean, you could always buy the three pack blisters because you get six as well. It's your, like, three pack blisters are like 30, 50 years old. Depending on where you look, sometimes you get them cheap or you can get them for like between 22 and 25. Most expensive would be 27. So you're paying about four pound extra for I guess a promo and a coin. But again, some people swear by. Ooh, the other V stuff. Nice. I put it though. So at least we got one here. I mean, this one is the bundle. But yeah, um. I keep revealing it when I'm pulling it under the thing. The cold card. So you guys probably saw it and I I didn't I kinda saw it a little bit but I think at best this is gonna be a training gallery. But yeah, some people swear by the free pack blisters, so they might even rather pay a little bit extra for the free pack blisters for hits, because I mean if you're looking at my lot like, my ratio, again, it kinda goes the same. For me I, I just swear by Pokemon Center, Elite Trainer Boxes, Booster Boxes and building battle stadiums. If anything, I think I swear about building battle stadiums the most. Those are the best. A little bit expensive on the expensive side, but those so far have given me the best hits. Yahoo! Honest, that would be nice. So two out of four hits of V and a V star. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. I think I would say these are booster box ratio kind of hits, probably. Probably, but then again, they will send out only one. Yahoo! Just as I speak of it, God of our training gallery, nice. Nothing. I have to say though, the, the trainer gallery in the Silver Tempest, like the regular ones, they've made them like really nice, like proper nice beautiful artwork. But I think the best, I'd say the best set for trainer galleries is the Lost Origin. They've got all the big, big hitters. Follow... Do I even want to attempt to say that? Reuniclus? Yeah, Reuniclus. Alright, so four packs left on this side. Four packs. And we've only got a trainer gallery from this side of the booster bundle. Yep, just the trainer gallery so far. Looks like Pokemon Center ETV might just take the win on this one. Illusion. Oh my god, no way. Yo, we just pulled it all up. The oh, no. Alright guys, um I didn't say it, but I'll say it now. I've been saying it in all of my Silver Tempest videos so far, but um What I decided to do is if I finally pull an alternate or art or alternate art, which this is an alternate art, unknown V alternate art, wow. It's not the Lugio, but it's an alternate art, and this is a nice freaking card. I'll do a giveaway of whatever the product they came out with. Oh, so I don't know if I want to do the, 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 the giveaway in this video or another video. Should I do it in this one? I think I'll do it in this one. Alright, guys, so if you want a chance for a giveaway of a Silver Tempest booster bundle, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, you know, the, sh the show. Like, like the video, subscribe, turn notifications on. Let me know in the comments down below. What your favorite alt art from Silver Tempest is? It's probably the Lugia. I'm gonna guess a whole slew of Lugias. But yeah, so there's four alt arts. Let me know what four of the four alt arts are your favorites for a chance at a Silver Tempest booster bundle.
Well, after putting that on on the oh, oh guys, oh my days. Should I should I buy more pizza bundles? The centering is poor though. The centering is poor, but wow, I put it all up. That just made up for this video big time. I'm gonna pull the full out already as well. Oh, an OR. I was not expecting that. So I put on on the OR now from a booster bunny. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. All picks. Oh my god. Let's learn. Yep, so if you're still here and you've seen me pull that giveaway, guys. Giveaway. My first giveaway. Of a silver tempest booster bundle and then from here i think what well, i'll probably do in every video is if i put it on secret rare gold card wow this booster bundle is that I think I need to buy more of these last pack guys, last pack, I think I need to buy more. I mean this could have just been a one out of many, Lo lucky one. What? Should I spend... A lot more than I would normally spend on a booster box of booster bundles. So, six packs, six booster bundles would make a booster box, which... Just above retail. Of a booster box. Oh, I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if I should do that, but just because I've pulled that OR and a gold card from this booster bundle makes me want to. Oh, last pack, guys. This is gonna have nothing. This is definitely gonna have nothing. Really mysterious, swablu, gold stone, which matters. Alright, guys, so recap time. I think this is probably the best opening I've had for Silver Tempest. It just has to be. We've got again a V. This is from Pokemon Sun and Luchina Box. Malamo. Radiant Alakazam, now full out Magena, nice. The last saving grace for that Pokemon Center, Elite Trainer Box. From Booster Bundles, this is from the first box, Almost Star V. God, well, actually, I, I rearranged the order, so it's, it's not going to be an order of what I pulled from each box. So, there's God of Our, Majijoba V Star, a secret, a secret Rare Gold Energy Switch, and a pull of pulls. Wow, I pulled the alternate art on OV. I pulled it. I pulled it. Nice. Badly centered, but yes, take it. In terms of the alternate arts, Lugia first, definitely. Lugia first, and then this unknown, this unknown V or would be my second. Alright, guys, that was the Pokemon Center Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box and two Silver Tempest Booster Bundles. If you enjoyed the video, please stop on to the end. I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications on for more, and I'll see you on the next one. And don't remember, giveaway. Let me know what your favorite OR from Sil Silver Tempest is. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.